So there's no doubt that these two accessories go perfectly together. The Apple Watch really complements the iPhone and the iPhone definitely complements the Apple Watch. You really can't have one without the other. So in this video, we're actually going over eight cool tips that every Apple Watch user should definitely know. So let the download begin. So if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss and release some cool, helpful content. So now, one of the first things we're actually going to take a look at is by default, when your Apple Watch goes to sleep and wakes up, it usually wakes up towards the time. But if you actually wanted to wake up towards the last application you were using, you can just easily adjust that by going into the settings of the Apple Watch itself. So you go into your settings, into general settings, and you scroll down to wake screen. And then you're gonna have a lot of different options in this wake screen area, but you're gonna scroll down until you get to the option that says on screen, raise, show last app. And then you can set in the setting, you'll never show the last app unless you're in the session, within the last two minutes or within the last two hours or always. And what this does is it makes sure that if you're ever in an application on your Apple Watch and your Apple Watch goes to sleep, the application doesn't get closed out. You actually just get dump right into your session based on the settings that you have set here. And that can actually come in handy a lot if you're using an application that resets if you are ever dumped out of it. So you can go into the settings and make those changes here. So now if you have terrible eyes like me, you want to make sure your text is as readable as possible. So you can actually go in and adjust the size of your actual text on the Apple Watch itself. Again, just to make it more readable if you have terrible old eyes like I do. And all this is going to be done in the brightness and text settings. So if you hit your digital crown and then you're going to look for your settings app, go into settings. And when you're in settings, you're just going to look for display and brightness. And in display and brightness one, you can actually set the brightness of the Apple Watch itself, which gets pretty bright, but be careful because that does affect your battery life. You have your always on display in here as well. But what we're looking for is the text size. And you can see I have it kicked up pretty high because again, I'm blind. But if you want to lower it, or raise it, you can do so to your liking and just kind of adjust the ease of reading information, especially if you're reading like text messages or emails on your Apple Watch, you're probably gonna want the text to be as large as possible so that way you're not finagling too much to try to read it, trying to bring the watch too close to your face. You can actually just go in and make the adjustments here that'll make the text a lot simpler and easier for you to read. Now, for this tip, it's going to be centered around applications. If there's an application that you have on your watch that you don't want to have on your watch. Now, remember for the most part, applications that are downloaded into your iPhone are usually mirrored onto your Apple Watch. And sometimes you don't want all those applications to be mirrored onto the Apple Watch itself. So what you can do is actually just hide those particular applications from your Apple Watch without deleting them completely from your phone. And you're gonna do that just by going into your Apple Watch app here, you're scrolling to the bottom and it's going to be a listing called installed on Apple Watch. And this is just gonna give you basically a rundown of all the applications that are currently installed on your Apple Watch that you can hide. So if I select Spotify here and I go into this menu, you see that the option to show on the Apple Watch is selected. If I tick that, then it's basically just uninstalling it from the Apple Watch itself, but it's not uninstalling it from the iPhone, which is a big deal. So you're not removing it from your iPhone itself. You're just removing it from the Apple Watch. That way it's not stored on your Apple Watch and you don't necessarily have to see it. And if you ever really just wanted to re-add it, it's just as simple as ticking that button once more. And then it goes through and it reinstalls that application back onto your Apple Watch with no issues. So it's actually really simple to kind of hide or remove applications that you don't want shown and then just put them back once you want to have them shown again. So now similar to your iPhone, you can actually take screenshots directly on the Apple Watch itself. Now it's kind of weird because really what would you be taking a screenshot of on your watch but it's a feature that's available it's something that you can do so i'm going to show you how to do it and it's actually really simple you're just going to press the side button and the digital crown down together when you're on a screen that you want to take a screenshot of screenshot gets taken and that screenshot becomes available in the gallery of your synced iphone it's actually really pretty cool pretty seamless and pretty easy again i don't know why you would want to take a picture of 
a screen of your Apple Watch, but if you have an email or a text message or something that you just want to capture, again, it's really simple to do. Those two, the side button plus the digital crown, and it appears in the photo gallery of your phone itself. So now when you get messages on your Apple Watch, you can't actually unfortunately type back onto the Apple Watch itself, but you can set up some default replies that you can use to reply to messages that are sent via your Apple Watch to make it a little bit more convenient. And the way you would do this is just going into your Apple Watch companion application here. You're going to scroll down to the messages section and then you have your default replies here. And the smart replies should be on automatically. If it's not, then I would suggest turning it on because what this does is just basically kind of creepingly reads your message that's sent to your iPhone or your watch and generates a pretty close to or smart reply based on the words that it's reading in the message. Again, if you don't want it to read your messages, you can turn it off, but I found it to be pretty helpful and pretty convenient when you just want a quick reply. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can actually type out replies, something more candid that you would normally say or something that's more your personality you can actually put into your default replies themselves so that way when somebody sends you a message that appears on your apple watch you can select one of those default replies and send that back as a quick reply through the watch itself it's kind of a workaround not being able to type on the apple watch but still being able to communicate via messaging app so being on time is not the easiest thing for me i'm usually running either five to ten minutes late to be honest so apple is actually built in a workaround for late people like me and you can actually set your watch to be either five to ten minutes faster than the normal time so you're always five to ten minutes ahead of time your notifications and alerts and everything will still come in at the same time it's just that your alarms and your actual time itself will show five to ten minutes faster and you do that just by going into your settings and in your settings, you're going to select the clock app. And in the clock app, you have your application here. So you can just tap and you can go up to 60 minutes, which is a lot. You can be an hour ahead, which will probably be annoying to everybody else. But I like to set it to the five to 10 minute range. And you will just set it by just adjusting the digital crown. And again, you can just go all the way up to 59 minutes, actually, if you want to. And you will always be ahead of schedule if you set your watch up like this. That way, you know, you won't be as late as I normally am. So for the most part, there's nothing more annoying than if your watch or your phone goes off in a place that you're supposed to be quiet or if you put your phone on mute or vibrate and your watch notification still goes off again in a place that you're supposed to be quiet in one of the coolest things that you can do with your apple watch is actually set it that way if an alarm or some kind of notification goes off you can actually just cover the screen and that will automatically mute the sound of that particular notification and it can save you in a pinch again if you forgot to put your phone or watch on silent so the way you would enable that setting is just going into your apple watch application and from the apple watch application on your phone you're going to go to sound and haptics and in the bottom you're going to have the cover to mute option here so just make sure that's turned on and that way any kind of alerts or anything that comes in you can just cover your hand over the apple watch and it will automatically silent that particular sound saving you the embarrassment of people staring at you because you forgot to mute your devices and the last tip i'm going to give you centers around the camera arguably the most important thing in the smartphone nowadays. So you can actually remotely take a picture using your Apple Watch with your iPhone that's paired to the Apple Watch itself. And it's as easy as possible. Of course it is because it's Apple. They make everything really, really easy. So I hate and love them at the same time. So really all you have to do is open your camera on your iPhone and then go into your Apple Watch itself. You're gonna open the camera on the Apple Watch. It gives you kind of a display. And then all you gotta do is you're seeing it's mirroring the display one to one. When you have your picture lined up, you have two options here. You can either take a full picture immediately and it just snaps a picture or you can do a three second countdown. and it snaps the picture after three seconds. So if you're ever in a situation where you either wanna set up your phone to take a picture automatically, or if you want to remotely take a picture of yourself, you can actually set your phone up in an area, move over, set up your shot using your Apple Watch. You can use the Apple Watch to make sure your shot is set up perfectly because you're seeing a one-to-one -one representation of the shot that's appearing in the camera on your Apple Watch. And then 
take your picture and you'll be all set you vain person you all right guys so that's going to do it for some tips and tricks that all apple watch users should definitely know if they ever plan on mastering the use of your apple watch if you guys have a tip that i didn't share in this video share it in the comment section down below thank you so much for checking out the video don't forget to smash that like button with that bell for notification and that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and until next time guys make sure to check out some of the other videos we've done on the channel thank you so much for watching peace